2020 vision, I went all the loot. 2020 vision, I went all the loot. I'm talking, be my all clean. Fit to me. Finger all shine. All right, you all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and like and subscribe. Subscribe and like. It doesn't matter what you do as long as you tap that notification button. So, like I told you guys last time, um, I'm getting a professional haircut. It's been a while since I've gotten one, so let's hope that it goes well. I'm really hoping that it goes really well. Um, it's been a couple of years since I've gotten one, so I'm kind of excited, nervous at the same time. I don't know if they'll let me record in here, but we'll see. Um, we'll check it out if they let me record or not. Mm -mm. Um. And if not, I'll just show you guys the end results and tell you guys, like, what was said and how I felt about the overall experience. So, it's about time for my appointment. I'm probably going at 9.50. It's at 10. So, yeah. I'm a little nervous. Cross the fingers. All right, you all. So, it's the next day. Um, I'm honestly just trying out my new tripod that I got. Or... Well, I guess it's a tripod slash selfie stick for my trip. It finally came in. I'm so excited. It has this little LED light. Um, let's go find somewhere and sit down and talk about my appointment yesterday because I didn't record and I told you all if the atmosphere wasn't right that I wasn't going to um, record in there. Um, I just felt like, you know, it was too fresh. So let's go talk about what the hairstylist said about my hair. Let's go. Okay, so before I show you all how my how I did my hair yesterday, um, let's talk about the initial like going. So I like went in. Um, I told them where I was, to check my temperature and everything. I think the owner of the company was the person who was there because I chose a really early time because I like to get my hair done. Privacy, I don't like too many people around. Um, yeah, so I get there. I don't think my hairstylist was there yet. Um, so I went in and sat down for a few moments. Um, the owner was working on somebody else, um, about three minutes into me being there. She came and, um, put me at the bowl and she prepped my hair. Um, of course you all saw how my hair was before I went in. I went ahead the day before, took my braids out and I pre-detangled my hair and put Put it into sections so it'd just be a little bit manageable but again it had been two weeks since i had my last shampoo and deep condition so my hair was like eh we kind of working with you today but not really so i kind of separated the twist and then she went in and like really separated the twist um she asked me questions about my hair um i paid a 25 dollar consultation fee um, the consultation was supposed to be like 15 minutes, but I didn't really have a consultation, I feel like. Um, but she did ask me questions about my hair. She asked me what I put in my hair because my hair smelled really good. Of course, you guys know. Um, I used to be a Myo Organics brand ambassador, so I have like buttloads of products of Myo Organics. And really, that's still my main go to though I go out and buy other products to do my hair with sometimes but like majority of the time I'm still using my my old organs because it works very well in my hair um you guys know I would not promote something that does not work and if it don't work I'm gonna tell y'all so we talked about you know what my hair condition looked like she said actually my hair didn't look damaged it actually looked pretty good um I haven't been to the hair salon in six years y'all I've been doing my own hair, cutting and trimming my own hair. So that let me know I'm doing a pretty good job by myself. <laughs> um, so she said my hair was already in layers. It didn't really look like it needed too bad of a trim. Of course, I knew I needed a trim because you can tell when your hair needs a trim. When you like do your natural hair and like the curls aren't popping the same. Um, I expressed to her about my trauma story about like, hey, you know, when I go to salon, tell them I want a trim. There's a difference between a trim dusting and a cutoff okay i want a trim and she said completely understand when my stylist gets there um she will explain the story um make sure that she's only taking off a little bit because that's all I needed i needed a little dusting trim i need a boat um so she finished prepping me by the time she finished prepping me my stylist came in and she came in, you know, immediately introduced herself, got herself prepped. 
Um, in the midst of her coming to the bowl, the owner of the salon expressed to her my story, everything I told her, which was great. Um, I didn't have to do too much talking. Um, they used TG and I on my hair, um, which is great because I go between my L and TGIN. Um, I have type 4 low prostate hair. So those two products, or I want to say two shots, those two brands, mm, um, work amazingly in my type 4 hair. So the initial feeling of the shampoo, like it was good, but I felt like it was kind of rushed through. Like for someone who hasn't been in six years, I was really anticipating that scalp scrub that scalp massage and i didn't really get that because i felt like she was rushing i felt like she was i don't want to say she was nervous but she knew that she was late and she knew that she had probably other clients coming in which she did because in the midst of our appointment someone else came in and the manager had to start their hair at the bowl too so i think you know she was just a little off schedule but she was amazing she was amazing um i'm definitely going to schedule with her again i found a salon that I would like to go back to not too far from us about seven minutes like not far um so that's amazing I'm not saying that I still won't venture but I I kind of liked how she did I gave her a tip um so after we finished at the bowl um she started going through my hair to section my hair off um so that she can blow dry and trim um, that part made me really nervous. Like next time I am going to be a lot more verbal. I just wanted to see how it was like my first time going. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to see how you treat my natural hair. So the initial, I don't know if she was nervous. I don't know what it was, but a couple of times when she was going through my hair with the brush, I think a couple of times she started the root, a couple of times she started in the middle. And as a natural hair head, we know that we never start in the middle to detangle our hair. We never start the root. You are gonna literally rip your hair out. And I was just like, and again, she may not have really, cause when I looked at the brush at the end, like there really wasn't any hair in the brush, but still, like that just wrecked my nerves just a little bit because um, I'm very peculiar. So the next time I'm definitely going to say, you know, could do mind starting from the ends and working your way up. Um, But her sex, like I could feel my hair, like I'm a very touchy feel person. So I could feel every section that she was on. I like her sections were very different. Like normally I do my hair in fours. And when blowing my drying my hair, the two back sections become one, and I just split it and put it up. So then it's two sections here and the one big section. Um, she did hers like across, 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 across. Um, which was different. Um, my hair was long. Um, I don't think anyone expected to see how long my hair was. But we know shrinkage is a real beauty. Um, and so when she started stretching my hair, she had to literally like lean back and like. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Imagine if we were doing like a full blowout and flat iron, which the next time I go is what I'm going to do. Because I want a very in detail cut. Like I need an in detail cut. Um, but this particular time, I just wanted to trim. Um, so the next time I go, I'll probably get like a silk press. Um and just even out my hair. Um, so she did use heat protecting. I feel like on some sections, she might have forgot. Okay, my tripod light died. I don't even know why I thought I could just use it right out the box, but it's okay, it's charging. But this lighting's okay for what I'm doing. So um, I know I said it was okay that she didn't use hair protecting spray on some sections, but I lie. It's not okay because that can cause heat damage. So that made me a little nervous. So there was a period of time when she turned me around and I could like see my hair in the mirror. And I was like looking dead at the protecting spray. And she was like, <laughs> and I was like, mm-hmm. 
don't forget that protective spray. Um, and so for the entire um, appointment, she remembered to use that. Um, when we got to the end, my hair was, of course, all over the place. Um, she then turned to the owner of the salon. She's like, you know, do I leave her hair like this? Like, what do I do? And I was like, oh, you could just put my hair up in the bun because I'm going to revert my hair right back. I'm not going to do anything special um, because, yeah. So she begins to slick my hair back and the owner of the company is at the shampoo bowl and she starts to um, ask me questions like, you know, what do you normally do use when you steam your hair at home? And I was like, oh, majority of the stuff that I use is Maya Organics because I used to be a brand ambassador for them. And so I just have a buttload of products from them. And I was like, um, no need to like waste money and go buy stuff when you just have lots of products. Like, oh my goodness, you would have to go back in my videos. Like my old apartment that I lived in before I moved here. Like I literally have a gigantic bookshelf with my own products, just strictly my own products, shampoos, conditioners. I mean, stocked up. Like I could be my own store if I wanted to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, and so she was like, oh, how did you come about being a brand ambassador? So I like told her that whole story and I feel like everyone's like mood switch. Like they really wanted my business again. And so I was like, okay, you guys probably have a new customer. Um, I just don't know when I'm coming back because I'm going to wait out a little bit after getting my hair blow dry. Cause the last time I put heat in my hair was a while ago so I'm going to stretch out the time but I definitely do want to get my hair detailed before the end of summer so that's the story of that so when I came home this is the important part so I went ahead and sectioned my hair off and put my hair in mini twists so I'm going to show you all what that looks like under here all right and this is what my hair looks like like fresh up out the bed um of course it's like kind of sticking around just a little bit but that's okay nothing a little water can't fix um my hair bows are still the same color from my outfit that I had yesterday here's a little picture <laughs> she look good don't she um so I have this going on I did like mini twist because I feel like that's a good protective style to last me um Honestly, I'll probably keep my hair like this until I go on my trip next month. Um, and then that's when I'll probably put a wig on. Um, but they're pretty good to keep moisturized, to keep up with. Um, of course, shrinkage is real. Um, I didn't braid the roots. I just twisted it up. Um, but my hair has definitely shrunk up since yesterday. Like, as you can see, like, some of the sections are still in a stretched state. But... Once again, nothing like a banding method can't fix and stretch and elongate the hair. Um, these piggy tails are cute and adorable, easy to refresh. All I have to do if a section really needs some work, I can just untwist it and retwist the section. Um, in the front here, I got nice little braided, I call them braid bangs. Um, I normally take water because when I sleep, these are normally like everywhere. So of course they're gonna stick up like so. But a little water will fix it and it'll bring it right back here it was in my way yesterday when i was eating i was like oh boo um so then in my midst of like doing my hair and taking breaks from these middle twists because it took forever for me to do um i was searching on amazon and i found this new water bottle because y'all see my handy dandy janky water bottle the white one but I love it because it's big and it gets the job done and nobody sees it but me so mm. but for the purposes I guess of making videos sometimes you guys might want to see something different so I went and got a Framar water bottle it has like a top like a um aerosol air freshener bottle so when you spray it it goes and it goes so I might go put some water in so you guys can see what this looks. I got it on Amazon. It was like $12. This thing was cute. I saw a white one, black one, a blue one, and this one. But in stock, they only had black and pink. So I was like, mm, I'll go with pink because it's cute. I always have to do a lot of things with black. So 
I get something with a little pop of color in it. And this is so cute. It's a small little bottle. Um, this is what the top of it looks like. The inside. It's not very big. That part made me nervous. I was like, mm, I have a lot of hair. I need a lot of water. But we'll see. So let me go put some water in it so you guys can see how this sprays. All right. So I went and put some water in this thing. Are you ready? All right. So I guess I'll have to like pump it a couple of times just so it can spray. Get some water up in there. Okay, I can feel the difference. Oh, there it is. Look at that. And I'm not even holding it. My hair actually needs some water, so I'm kind of like wasting water. So, honestly, I saw that video and it made me excited. And I was like, I can't wait to use this. So imagine if I did three pumps, like that was a long time for one pump. So let me do two pumps and see, let's see. One, two. Y'all. And it did the job, like my hair is one, two. I love this. I love this and my hair got nice and moisturized. There's water, I got a little hydration and water in the plants this morning. My hair feels good. I can't forget my little section here. So let's do like a half a squirt and see what happens. Just for the front section here. I love it. So this is my new favorite water bottle. Um, even though I did just do my hair yesterday, I try to give my hair some daily love, like every day, like it's like watering a plant. Like I, like that's my new regimen, watering and hydrating my plant every day. Um, depending on the state of it, I might add like just a, just a little bit, like a little bit goes a long way. Um, and moisturizing the hair as needed. Um, but yeah, that is my blowout trim story, salon vision style, all that in one. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe and like, it doesn't matter what you do as long as you tap the notification. If you wanna see any more of my videos, stay tuned for the next page over here. And I'm gonna give you all some options from you all to choose. Perfect. Perfect.